Alright, so in this video we are discussing how to use the TI-84 Plus and the TI-83 Plus on how to use the um, how to use those to calculate the mean, median, and standard deviation and also how to use the calculator to graph um, box plots and modified box plots. The modified box plot is what we're going to be focusing on just because that will display our outliers as separate distinct points. So this is the example data set that I'm going to use, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 25. So what I'm going to do is pull up my TI-84 Plus uh, emulator and again this emulator behaves the exact same way as the actual physical handheld of the TI-84 Plus behaves. So the first thing I need to do is go into mode and verify that I am in function mode. So right here, it's flashing right now and it's already there but I'm just going to hit enter to um, just verify that it is selected by the calculator and then just hit second quit. Now what I need to do is I need to enter in my data set into the calculator so I'm going to hit stat and it's on the option I need, option one edit so hit that and I'm just going to put everything into my first list so just put it in the way it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 25 and so you just enter the number you want and hit enter and do that to enter your entire data set. And so it'll just take a few seconds. Uh, be careful as you're entering this in because if you double click or you don't mash the right button, then the calculator will have the wrong information in there. And that will affect your data set. So just be careful as you're doing this. Okay, and it's always a good practice just to scroll up and look and make sure you do have your data set entered in correctly. Alright, so now that I do, um, the first thing I'm going to do is do some list operations. So I'm going to go second quit back to the main screen and now I'm going to go to my list menu. So second stat. So second stat will take me to the list option and I want to go over to ma the math menu. So I'm going to scroll to the right twice and I want to find the mean of this list. So I'm going to scroll down to option 3 and select it and now I need to tell it what list I want to look at so I'm going to go back and hit second stat again and then just select L1 close parentheses and hit enter so the mean of this list that I just inputted was 7 Okay. now we can do the same type of thing to find the median so I'm going to go back to second list scroll over to the math menu and go to option 4, median, and select L1 again because that's the list I'm working with, and close parentheses and hit enter. So the median for this list is 5.5. Okay. Now finally I want to use the calculator to calculate the standard deviation. So I go back to the list menu again, so second step, scroll over to math, and go down to option 7, STD DEV, standard deviation. Hit enter, and we select our list again, as we've been doing, so L1, hit enter, and so this is my standard deviation. Okay, it's already done that long complex uh, calculation that we've been doing by hand. It takes care of all that for you, so very convenient. And that's all it is for those three things. Um, if we go back just, just to look, if we go back to our list menu and then to the math menu, we could scroll down and see that there's other options. You can do the min and max. Um, you can do the sum, product, standard deviation. You can calculate the variance. And so there's some good stuff here if you want to go and play with this a little bit on your own. Now let's just hit second quit. And I want to uh, use my calculator to graph the box plot. So I'm going to go to y equals and I'm going to scroll up to plot 1. Now my plot 1 is al already highlighted but I'm going to hit enter and you notice that when I hit it enter it's no longer selected so I'm going to go back and reselect it. Okay. So now I need to go and hit second y equals to go to the stat plot menu and I'm working with plot 1 so I'm just gonna hit enter 
and I want to be sure it's turned on, it is, and I want to scroll down to the type of graph. Okay, I have six different options here, and you notice that the that the fourth option right here and the fifth option look like two box plots. What we're going to do is select the fourth box plot option, this one right here, because that's actually for a modified box plot. And you notice that it has a, another option down here, um, X list. That just says what list you want to use. The default is L1, the list that we've been working with, so that's why I chose L1 to enter in my data set. But you could also change that to whatever data, whatever list you want it to. And I'm just going to leave everything else the same. So now that I'm done, I'm just going to hit second quit to get out here, and then just go to uh, graph. Okay. Just a second, cause. So, sorry about that, my calculator was acting up a little bit, so I'm going to hit graph. And we notice that right here we have a blur, a little bar right here, and then a little dot. And at first, you know, this might look weird, but in reality this is our box plot. The only issue that's going on is that our window is kind of really stretched out. So I want to fix this so it looks more like a nice box plot so we can actually see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit the window button. And notice that my X min, the minimum value for my X values is 1, but the maximum value for my X values is 260. So that's why my window, the scaling on my window is really stretched out. So I'm going to change that X max to about 30. Remember the largest value in my data set was 25. So I want to do something just slightly bigger than that, not too big. And um, since my very first um, data value was 1, I might go something a little bit smaller. Let's just say uh, 0. Actually, let's say negative 10. Just to be safe, give us plenty of breathing space. And now that we've changed those, let's hit graph again. And now we can clearly see our box plot. Okay. Here's our starting value, or sorry, our minimum value of 1, Q1, the median, um, Q3, the max, and then we have our outlier of 25 out here. Um, if we actually hit trace, okay, we can see down here in the lower left corner the min is x1, is x equals 1, Q1 is equal to 3. The median was 5.5, like we calculated. Q3 was 8. The maximum value was 9. And then our outlier is 25. Now, the calculator calls this the maximum value because it is the overall largest value in our data set, but it's also plotted outside as an outlier. Okay, So that's the only difference. Um, this point right here is the maximum value inside of our fences. This outlier falls outside. Now the only bad thing about this graph is it doesn't show us where those fences are to calculate the intercortile or calculate outliers. But other than that, I mean it's a pretty useful tool, especially using the trace feature. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you very much.